Hi. Today I am today my name is Banish Bhatt and today I am going to present the topic Cherenkov radiation and detection. So what is the Cherenkov radiation? When a charged particle travels through a transparent medium at a speed greater than the speed of light in that medium, photons of light are produced. The medium may be liquid or solid, provided it is transparent. These photons are called Cherenkov radiation. A Cherenkov radiation effect is the result of physical disturbance caused by the high energy particle along its along its path of travel, resulting in a directional anisotropic emission of light. It's named after, after the Russian physicist P. E. Cherenkov for its basic research on this phenomena. It was first discovered by Marie Curie in 1910. So, Cherenkov radiation detection. Cherenkov radiation consists of a continuous spectrum of wavelength. When created in sufficient quantities, Cherenkov radiation can be used to monitor radioactivity effectively. Becher was able to detect Cherenkov radiation in, term, in terms of rates per micro curie. Cherenkov radiation can, has a wave, can, can be detected from UV range to visible range, visible light range. Although scintillation phenomena is not involved in the creation of Cherenkov radiation, Cherenkov photons released from a particular sample is in a typical counting vial, vial can be found and counted using traditional liquid scintillation counter. Certain uh, radionuclide, radionuclides may be counted in water or other suitable transparent medium without the use of scintillation floor or any other chemical reagent. So how Cherenkov radiation is produced? Local polarization along the path of the charged particle causes Cherenkov photo emission. It actually means when the uh, in a uh, charged particle moves, uh, moves in the transparent medium, it results in the polarization of the nearby atoms uh, causing them to uh, causing them to uh, um, causing them to polarize or excite get excited which results in the emission of electromagnetic radiation when those atoms regain revert back to their original states the cherenkov radiation is transmitted as a conical wave front or more specifically as a cone shaped emission of directional particle motion the cherenkov radiation when moves it produces wave front when so when seen in 3d it can be interpreted as a cone moving may, making a ring this effect is, su is used in super det uh, super kamikaze detector to detect neutrino and muons so as you can see when the cherenkov radiation moves through the medium it produces a ring like structure ring like uh, phenom it produces a ring like structure so th this is a th this is actually a depiction of the production of cherenkov radiation in a dispersive medium and the resulting wave front expansion as the wave front spreading lengthens the excitation pulse on time scale that is small in comparison to the to the fluorescent decay so this phenomena is well is well used well used in the this phenomena is well used in the ch cherenkov uh, in the super complicated detector to detect muons and neutrinos here as we here as as, I, as you can see we have got a photo from super kamikaze detector showing the new showing the cherenkov radiation ring it is used as the mu as the muons and neutrinos have a very small life this is used to detect the neutrinos and muons here the medium is medium is water so sorry the cherenkov radiation can only be produced when the radiation fulfills a certain condition that is beta must be greater than 1 by n where beta is the relative phase velocity of the particle and n is the refractive index of the medium. The value of beta is dependent on its kinetic energy through its relativistic relation. As you can see here the, here the relativistic relation. So as you can see here the relativistic relation. So here m0 c square is the rest mass of the electron and beta here is the relative uh, phase velocity of the particle and n is the refractive index. It, when we put the rest mass, uh, rest mass energy of electron, we get this expression in, uh, for, for the beta. So, the minimum threshold value, minimum value that is required for a particle, for a beta particle or electron to emit Cherenkov radiation is given by this, this, uh, this expression. So, So, as as you can see, an important property of Cherenkov radiation should be an important property of Cherenkov radiation, which should be considered, is the directional emission of Cherenkov photons. 
the Cherenkov photos are only emitted as a cone at an angle theta to duration of the beta particle. As we can see, the Cherenkov radiation are only emitted as a co as a cone respect, with respect to the theta. Here, as you can see, the wave fronts are producing. It's a 2D figure of the. It is a 2D uh, actually the 2D figure of the initial figure which we have shown. As it's a, as we can see, this is a Huygens construction of wave front. The angle theta depends on beta and h. So when it it uh, results when the when the uh, when the particle is moving very very close compared very very close compared to the speed of light the angle is very very acute but if the particle is moving uh, when particle when the particle is moving a little faster well, uh, at the moderate uh, at the moderate speed the figure is a, lit a little obtuse little obtuse the angle is a little big so as you can see the wave fronts are creating as the particle is moving through the medium so cherenkov counting permit the detection efficiency in cherenkov counting may be optimized by controlling several counting parameters first is the sample volume the detection efficiency of cherenkov photons can be dependent significantly on the sample volume the optimum volume may may differ from one instrument to another and even from one nuclear to another measured with the same instrument as well as that as the type of file used the volume affects the pulse height spectral shape counting wise pl the plastic uh, counting wise the plastic counting wise produce higher cherenkov counting efficiencies than glass wise wave uh, then wave nature. the ultraviolet component of cherenkov radiation may pass plastic wise plastic wise can be absorbed partially by glass of the photomultiplier tube Although the use of wavelength shifter can significantly increase the counting efficiency, it must be kept in mind. It must be kept in mind that the detection process is no longer a purely physical one, and thus chemical quenching becomes possible. Fourth, refractive index. The energy threshold for the production of Cherenkov radiation by electrons is a function of refractive index, as we have earlier shown that it uh, that a certain amount, certain rate refractive index is needed so that the Cherenkov radiation can be emitted. An increase in the refractive index of the medium should lower the energy threshold and increase the detection efficiency for the beta particle emitting radionuclide. Gamma. So, uses of Cherenkov detection. Cherenkov radiation can be used to detect gamma ray. Can be used as a gamma gamma ray detection. So, gamma ray gamma radiation can produce Cherenkov photons indirectly through gamma ray photon electron interaction as the gamma radiation travels through the transparent medium. The transfer of gamma ray photon energy to an atomic electron via Compton interaction produces a Compton electron with the energy E. -E. Here, as you can see, the expression is 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 one given by the is given by the Compton scattering Compton scattering of electron energy at 180 degree. So here E, -E here so the gamma ray photon must possess an energy in excess of 422 kilo electron volt. Calculate according to the inverse of Uh, inverse of the above expression. So, as we can see here, there are different terms present. Here, E gamma is the required energy. E, e is the ele uh, Compton electron energy. E gamma prime is the energy of the Compton scattered photon, and phi is the electron binding uh, electron binding energy. The, the here, as you can see, here as you can see, the graph represents the uh, variation of threshold energy with the index of uh, index of refraction. The threshold energy of Cherenkov radiation as a function of index of refraction for of the detector medium or for gamma rays and electrons or beta particles. So as we can see here, the gamma rays and electrons or beta particle is shown. Are shown. So the Cherenkov detection efficiency for gamma ray is low. The this phenomena is applied to create threshold detectors. The direction. So the directional mission of Cherenkov radiation is a disadvantage when a conventional liquid centralization spectrometer is used for counting. So Cherenkov. 
Chern curve radi uh, chern so uh, the, there are many applications of Chern curve radiation as we have discussed. The, the one is gamma ray detection. The uh, other one is and the most important one is the particle identification. Chern curve contrasts are applied in the particle physics research for the determination of particle mass, velocity, and particle identification. As we have already seen the super in super chemical detector, how Chern curve radi uh, rings are used to detect uh, uh, photon uh, and are detected uh, detect are used to detect. Uh, Neutrinos and muons. So, Cherenkov detector of various designs are applied to discrimination and identification of high energy particles. Threshold called Cherenkov contrast. Threshold Cherenkov contrast consists of Cherenkov detector of differing diffractive index employed to discriminate particles of different mass based on different ch different Cherenkov threshold energy that the particle have in the detector. So, it implies that uh, uh, different particles have different Cherenkov threshold energy. So, we can distinguish the particle by the Cherenkov radiation that they are emitting. For different uh, different type of refractive index, like uh, gamma ray, will have a different special energy due to for a different uh, for, for a different uh, uh, different uh, trans medium, and beta particle and uh, energy will have different special energy for the same uh, same uh, same me medium. So the other is the ring imaging Cherenkov ridge counter. The ring imaging Cherenkov ridge ridge detector is. Design principle for the particle particle identif identification as it can provide information of velocity and the charge of the particle and complementary information provided by the rigidity measurement using magnetic tracking can provide the provide the identity of the particle according to its mass. So last one is time of propagation Cherenkov counter. The relatively new concept of the application of Cherenkov detectors for the particle identification is via the measurement of time of propagation and the horizontal emission. Of angle phi of Cherenkov photons. The ap the application of Cherenkov photo Cherenkov counting analysis of radionuclides is popular in these, those cases where the Cherenkov counting efficiency of the radionuclide radionuclide of interest is adequate to meet the particular detection limit. Another application of gamma ray detection is the Cherenkov verification technique used in nuclear safeguard to verify the authenticity of the irradiated nuclear fuel, which is one of the important tasks performed by International Atomic Energy Agency. Here is a small animation clip showing the Cherenkov radiation emitted from a nuclear detector. Eight, seven, six, five, So as we can see in this uh, small video, as the nuclear reactor is on, the particles are uh, particles get uh, particles get out from the source and they travel through this transparent medium, resulting in the emission of that blue light, which we know as Cherenkov radiation. In fact, the Cherenkov radiation is simply that we can detect it from our naked eyes. For for most for some particles, we can detect it from naked eyes because it emits the it emits the electromagnetic because of the emission of electromagnetic radiation from ultraviolet to visible range and visible range includes this blue light. So, advantages of Cherenkov radiation. Samples may be counted directly in a quest of solution or organic solvent. No floor, floor cocktail or other component need to be added and thus the sample remains unadulterated un and can be used for significant studies or analysis. A larger volume of sample may be counted in a 20 milliliter counting vial since the floor solution is not needed. Chemical function is non-existent. So the reference for the this is Cherenkov counting by Michael F. Loanzeta and figures from the are taken from the above reference. A video is taken from the YouTube. And thank you.